Okay, uh, welcome to part two uh, of this series. Um, in this video, we're just going to very quickly finish up what we were doing in the last part. Um, this is why it'd be quite handy for YouTube to not limit the video length so long because this video is either going to be like a minute long or I'm going to have to ramble on a bit and again, sort of try and make it less ridiculously short. Anyway, um, so yeah, what we had in the last part was this sort of page system. Um, where the page links just linked to like adding a get variable page equals the number. So what we want to do now is process this so that it actually works. So what we're going to do is go back to our page, and we are going to change this here to a variable that we're actually going to define. So I'm going to change this to page, and then at the top of the page, all the way up here, we're going to define page equal to. Uh, we'll use the ternary operator here. So if you haven't watched that, go. If you haven't watched that, if you haven't used that before, either search for it on PHP.net or go and watch my video on logic because I believe I covered it there. But what we're going to do is check something, and what we need to check is uh, is is set get page because they might come to the page without actually specifying a page, and we want to sort of default to page one if they don't specify a page. I said page quite a lot in that sentence, but I hope that made sense. Anyway, so if the page is set, we want to set the page variable equal to um I suppose we don't need to do this, but I'm gonna cast page to an int just to make sure we have the right data type. And if it's not set, we're gonna to default to one because the first page is like probably what they want if they've come to the page without specifying a page. Page. <laughs> right, so uh, if we go back to our browser now um, and hit, well, let's just remove the page variable from the URL, hit enter, you can see we get page one. If I click on page one, we still get page one, hit page two, you can see we get like the second set of five names, um, see crowd and Father Ted. So this is page three, and you can see that there are four users on this page. Um, and if I were just to remove like some more users, so if I just remove like three of these from the table and reload this and reload this. What? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Actually need to delete them. Okay, now reload this. There we go. You can see the last page still shows and it just has one person, one name on it. So that's the basics of paging, pagination, pagination, however you want to say it in PHP. And um, sorry if the audio has been slightly terrible in this video, but um, I don't know, I'm working on it. Oh, and also I didn't manage to work out how to get um, my recording thingy to capture the window frame. Although it doesn't really matter, I suppose, because you can still see what I'm doing. Anyway, that's it. So thanks for watching and yeah, that's the end. <laughs>